Hey everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta version 10.12.2 video. Today I'm taking a drive through downtown Berkeley with a lot of cars, bikes, and pedestrians. We drive through some areas I've posted in previous videos, which is a good comparison to before, so let's see how the car does. As always, if you enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe, and with that, let's get into the drive. I have to say though, I am so impressed with the driving smoothness of this build. Wheel jerk is pretty much uh, non-existent and the car slows into turns like a human would, accelerates out of turns like a human would, and it stays within the lines, which is one of the um, issues I had with 10.11.2, because I live in a really windy, hilly area, um, so you need to stay in, in the line uh, of your lane and 10.12.2 is doing that significantly better. So we're we're at the infamous uh, roundabout, which it's never done well. Um, this is the first time I'm gonna let 10.12.2 do it. Um, let's see how it does. All right, I'm hitting the accelerator because it, it uh, it's having an issue, but it's, it's, oh my, okay, all right, it's doing it, it's doing it. It's doing it. It doesn't know where it wants to go. It picked, it picked the direction. I don't know if this was the right way to go. I think it actually was. Uh, so it just needed a little tapping to get into the intersection. But once it did, it it was able to do it. Um, and it, as you saw, there was a little bit of wheel jerk. Uh, it wasn't the most smooth experience. Uh, but the car figured out where it wanted to go and and committed and, and went there and did it without disengagement, which is pretty much what happens every single time I go there. So that's really cool to see. Uh, great behavior. Uh, very happy with it. And, you know, a little bit more improvement and we'll be able to see uh, that roundabout done perfectly without any uh, human interaction. any speed bumps with 10.12.2 yet. Let's see how this does. Uh, does not recognize it whatsoever and just goes flying over. Uh, so I'll go ahead and report that. Um, did I see the max speed go down to 17 for a second? I'm not totally sure. Anyway, another speed bump here. Car did slow down a little bit because it saw it, but it saw it late. Um, so that's interesting. And now we're getting into kind of the, the more complicated scenarios in downtown Berkeley here. I don't really know why we're slowing down here and it was turning its wheel to the to the right a little bit and so I accidentally disengaged. Um, that happens sometimes. Got some pedestrians up here, the car is slowing down, which is really good. I'm curious to see when it'll go. Is it going to continue once they're through the crosswalk fully. It actually came to a full stop and then proceeded. Um, I don't know exactly the reasoning for that, but it's, you know, it's not bad behavior per se. It's definitely safer than just continuing uh, without checking for any other pedestrians or cars or anything. Alright, so we're slowing down a little bit. Um, preemptively it feels, uh, although it's totally fine because we're coming up to some stopped cars. Uh, that, that is new behavior, it, it's slowing down earlier. Um, and it's really nice because it's, it's visualizing cars that are much further away than, than previous builds. Um, so that just gives me a little more confidence knowing that the car, you know, how far away the car can see, uh, uh, just knowing, you know, what it, what it can see and, and that it's making decisions a little bit further ahead than, than previously.
uh, very green. Okay, it did turn to the left. There's some pedestrians here. Um, the car is waiting for them, getting in the, the right lane. I mean, that was a little, you know, iffy, uh, but, you know, technically not terrible behavior. And I think our destination is on the left here, so the car is pulling over for that. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll head our way back, see how the car does. So far, so good. Uh, really, really been doing quite well. So we're coming to a one-way here. Car's taking a left. It gets into the, well, I think it's going to get into the right one, but then it gets into the left. Um, so, okay, there's a red light here. All right, so we are coming up to a rather interesting, okay, that was that was fascinating. So it, it stopped back further because of the pedestrians and then pulled up afterwards. That's, that's actually pretty cool behavior. We're coming up here in a couple stop signs. Um, just just a, a weird kind of spot. On the In the right-hand lane, you have unpro like uh, a blockade, and so you have to be in the left-hand lane to take a left. And there's, uh, it's kind of an unprotected left, except Traffic's only coming from one direction. Um, so we'll see how the car does. All right, so here we are at the, the very strange left. Um, lots of pedestrians and bikers around here. Uh, we're stopping really far back. Um, car needs to move up. There are some cars behind me. So at some point here, I might have to hit the accelerator. Uh, okay, now we're pulling up. Uh, looking both ways. I think we actually have an open spot here to go. Car needs to commit. And it, it does. It gets into the, the rightmost lane, which is, you know, good behavior. You can do that. Now we're going to take a right here. Uh, I think it saw the kind of red markings there on the road and thought that it wouldn't be able to get into the lane. So we're just continuing through here, which is really good behavior. It used to stop there, so that's that's super solid to see. We're just continuing on our way. Um, there's a flashing yellow, so I assume the car's slowing down for that. Uh, we're probably going to have some pedestrians coming up here soon, so we'll see how the car performs. Getting in the left lane, which is also new behavior. Um, Cool, that's the best, <laughs> that is by far the best the car has ever done that section before. I didn't have to do anything. Um, the car was very confident. Uh, that was really smooth. Um, again, just super impressed. Okay, so we have a, I don't, we have a blocked out light here. I don't know if you're supposed to stop or not, but the car is stopping. I'm just gonna kind of let it do its thing. Uh, Okay, now I'm going to go because um, I think the car was confused. It saw the stoplights and and wasn't sure what to do because there was nothing uh, nothing happening. So I hit the accelerator. Uh, I think in that case, you're just supposed to go through. You don't need to actually um, stop. Uh, but, you know, there's no one behind me, so I had no problem uh, taking a moment there. <laughs> it's an interesting choice by that person, but the car was good to not go any faster than it did through there. All right, what's gonna happen here? We're wow. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna go past that car. Uh, technically fine to do. Um, I think I would have let them in first, but you know the the car knows what it wants to do, and it's gonna do it. I was I was worried the car was gonna slow down there. I don't know if you could see that that uh, skateboarder, but he looked like he was coming straight into the road and then ended up going to the right, and the car uh, kind of slammed on the brakes there for them. Um, I wouldn't have slowed down quite that much. 
because I, I figured he probably wasn't going to, and I knew there was plenty of time to slow down. Uh, but the car, you know, it, it, number one priority, do not hit a pedestrian. And, and it was really making sure uh, that it wasn't going to do that. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Overall, FSD performed incredibly well during this drive. We had a few disengagements, but nothing too egregious. 10.12.2 has been so much better in all aspects, and this is another example of that. Previously, no build of FSD would have handled downtown Berkeley this well, so it's awesome to see the current rate of improvement. If you did enjoy the content, feel free to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future. See you all in the next video.